someone asked me what I think about uh, paying $20,000 a year, US dollars a year for business coaching. Again, would you pay 20,000 US dollars per year for business coaching? I would be interested to see what you write below. You don't have to comment below if you don't want to. If you if you say yes, you probably get a bunch of spammers uh, coming after you or legit business coaches who want to charge you twenty thousand or ten thousand dollars a year. Um, and so here's my thought. I mean, you might expect that I would immediately say no. You should not pay so much money. Um, they're scamming you or something like that. But I don't think that's true. Um, there are situations where, you know. Uh, people who, for example, already have an established business and I don't know, someone who makes a million dollars a year, let's say, and they're, you know, it's quite an established, stable business and they want to expand their business in some ways or streamline it or something. And 20,000 a year for business coaching in that case is, you know, probably a good deal, especially if, if it is able to grow their profits by way more than that or, to cut their costs or streamline their their work or whatever it may be. So it, of course, depends. Um, but for the person, for most of you who are watching this, who don't make a million dollars a year, I would question the 20000 or even $10,000 spending on business coaching or consulting or mentoring uh, of, of, of any kind. So instead of just thinking about okay i've got a business coach here who wants to he was promising me the the sun the moon and the stars to hire them uh to to coach me and you know i'm going to be able to to explode my business and you know look they they tell me that they've been successful or they tell me that they've helped other people be successful a lot of times they don't tell you the averages they just tell you the hyped up you know smaller percentage of the stories but anyway Instead of paying all this money to one person, I think it's just a better deal for you to divide up whatever budget you have for business coaching, consulting, mentoring. Divide up your budget, whether it's 20000 a year or 2000 a year or whatever it may be. Divide it up and give the smaller amounts to different business coaches, you know, consultants, mentors, freelancers, trainers, teachers, etc., the reason is because how do you know one person is going to save your life and save your business? This is the a common, uh, you know, like bias that a lot of us heart based and visionary, idealistic people have. Is it's we are influenceable. We we influence others, but in in many ways we're also influenceable, and it's easy to get sold by somebody who seems really credible charming, persuasive, and is promising you a lot to say, well, I'm just going to give thousands of dollars to this person uh, because they are supposed to get me to. But like, how do you know that one person is really the best fit for you? You don't until you start working with them, of course. Then you know, right? So instead of paying a lot of money to one person, why don't you take the money you have or you're willing to spend? If you're already willing to spend a bunch of money on one person, stop. Stop. And then say, well, if I'm willing to spend 2000 or 5000 on this one person, why don't I just divide that up by five and give it to five business coaches so I can see what it's like? And guess what? I'm I'm not the type of business coach to say, you must only listen to my strategies and everyone else is wrong. Now, sometimes in my videos, I know that I do critique other strategies, but I also, hopefully I mentioned this enough, I love rebels. And if you ever want to rebel against something I teach and try something that I don't say, I, I, rec I celebrate that if it works for you, if it's authentic to you. Like even in my own client group programs, I have clients and students who use different strategies than what I teach. And sometimes even strategies that I critique. But if they find it uh, empowering for them and actually effective for their business, who am I to say that that's not right for them? Of course, it's right for them. You know, they, they have to decide that. So I, I'm just, please, please don't give all this money to any one person, but divide it up, give it to five or seven different business coaches slash mentors 
so that you can really experience how each person guides you and what each person's structure is like. Because chances are the person who is really persuasive and charming, there's a trade-off, right? They, they spend their energies setting up marketing systems to be persuasive, charming, and authoritative looking. And that all that energy spent with all that stuff means it's energy spent taken away from creating better client structures and accountability for their clients it's, and, and um, better material for their clients, better education and modules and things like that. To, to. So I spend, I think I spend relatively little time on marketing energy wise. Um, I mean, these videos are not edited, you know, I kind of show up and I have some thoughts and I just, talk. it's like, it takes me, you know, an hour a week to do this. And then I spend a lot of time on my client program structures and trying to make things better. So I don't know. I, I just think that it's smarter to, to split up the money and, and try a bunch of different, like I said, especially ones whose marketing doesn't look great, but you've heard good things, right? Like sometimes, like I said, like if you look at my marketing, you don't think I'm successful. Most people don't realize once they come to my programs, wow, God, he has a lot of people and people like love his program. But it's like, you can't tell from the outside because I'm, I have good word of mouth because I believe I have good programs. So you, you have to pay attention to, again, be doubtful. The more charming and persuasive a business coach or mentor is, the more you, you have to understand that they spend a lot of energy doing that. And so their energy is taken away from, like I said, client development, I mean, client support and client um, progress, uh, you know, structuring their, their progress, et cetera. So, um, you know, divide your money, give it to people, spend it on people who you've heard good things from, but even if their marketing and branding is lackluster, this is important. Um, but let me, let me further explain what's actually, what you actually need to spend money on. If you're thinking about buying some business coaching or mentoring or training um there are basically five let's see let me let me look at my notes here there are five areas you should think about some you know spending money on it's not just on one business coach i think that's a not a wisest use of your your money so here's here are the five areas number one i'll just give the five real quick and then i'll explain them uh more in depth knowledge number one accountability number two Number three is customization and troubleshooting. Number four is software for automating various business processes. And number five, outsourcing to freelancers to do certain technical or graphics or just save you some time. So instead of going, I have this chunk of money, I'm going to hire a business coach and they can solve all my problems. And, you know, which is, again, they're being persuasive and charming, but chances are, that's not the average that, that they're showing you. So these five is what you need to spend money on. Okay. So let me, let me go ahead and explain these more. Um, so number one, knowledge, uh, of course you can find knowledge for free on YouTube, uh, Google, you can read books, you can take really, really cheap courses on Udemy and other places. Um, but I do, believe it's a good spend of some of your money to buy specialized, thoughtful courses put together by, you know, mentors that you, that you trust that have, that you've heard good things from, because it'll save you dozens or hundreds of hours of trying to find the right information. And it's all put into one place. So you'll save yourself dozens or hundreds of hours by buying a single course that, you know, whatever, on whatever topic you're trying to learn. So I think it's a good idea. Um, hopefully you won't spend thousands on a course. Um, hundreds is okay. Um, you know, my, my courses at the time of this recording are you know, $150 to $200. And I think it's reasonable for the kinds of co the content that I painstakingly put together and the structure of going through it, and implementing it. Um, so knowledge is, is one thing that, you know, you should spend part of your money on. I do as well. Um, secondly is accountability and accountability is um is so crucial because without human accountability it's not as likely you're going to implement the knowledge that you have purchased or have researched how many online courses have you bought 
or signed up for? How many webinars have you signed up for? And recordings that are waiting to, to be listened to, watched. For all of us, it's probably many. And what's the missing piece? The missing piece, there are two missing pieces. Well, the, that's the rest of my list here. <laughs> four missing pieces, right? Besides the knowledge, there's four other missing pieces. Accountability to actually apply, actually watch the material and apply it. Because otherwise, there's nothing. I know, I know the buying process is exciting. You have to understand that there's a bias that you probably have. It's fun to buy online courses for some of us, okay? It's fun. You're like, oh, I think I got something done. You did not You did not get anything done. You just spent some money. That's it. You have to be so aware of your mind patterns when you're buying. You're like, oh, it's so fun to buy. Oh, I'm a guy to sign up for something. Nothing got done except you spent money. Now you need the accountability to say, well, let me do the hard work. It's, it's not as, it's harder than buying, right? It's harder even than watching. Watching is sometimes not that hard. It's somewhat pleasant to watch, hopefully watch you know, my courses, for example, or listen to them. But it's a whole other thing to go, okay, let me pause and let me actually do what this person, is, this teacher is saying. Accountability helps a lot to someone who's, who, who you're, you're going to report back to and say, all right, yes, I watched module one and this is what I, this is what I did. This is what I tried. Okay, so that's accountability. And accountability, I'll tell you this, can be much cheaper than you would imagine. So let me give you the cheapest method for accountability. Now, I'm not talking about just asking a friend to keep you accountable because your friend, if you're not paying somebody, they, I mean, unless your friend is extremely reliable or very good at keeping you accountable, great, wonderful. You know, friend, family member, et cetera. That's great if you can find someone who is consistently going to ask you, even if you don't show up properly, they will keep keep asking you in a kind and loving way. So my recommendation is Focusmate. I use Focusmate several hours every single day because I need the accountability myself. I pay for Focusmate. Focusmate is cheap. At the time of this recording, it's $5 a month, super cheap. Super affordable. And you, you get on the focus mate session, you tell somebody, listen, I, I have been putting off watching and implementing this course. So in this session, I'm pointing over here because I have my my little like cheap, cheap tablet, the cheapest tablet I could find. I bought it just to use focus mate on. Um, so you tell your focus mate buddy, I'm going to finally watch lesson one and implement. I'm going to watch lesson one. I'm going to watch half an hour of lesson one and implement that. That's what I'm doing in this session. Please ask me about it later. And it's really helpful because you, you've told someone and they're going to ask you about it. And they're working on this stuff. There's their own stuff too. So Focusmate is the cheapest accountability. I think it's worth paying paying for. I do it myself. Um, and then beyond that, I think you can find an, an accountability coach. Um, coach.me. It's a website, coach.me. There's many, many websites out there now for freelancers. You can go on Fiverr to find accountability partner, accountability coach, um, that will just charge you a few dozen dollars per session, or maybe a few dozen dollars per month, and just unlimited messaging with them to say, hey, all right, listen, please ask me about this. I'm going to try to apply the four modules this month. And I, that's my goal this month. Please, you know, one module per week or whatever. So please get some accountability because it's going to be so helpful instead of just accumulating a bunch of courses. That's not going to be, that's, you're just spending money and so accountability, essential, okay, for applying courses, in my opinion. That's what I need myself anyway. Third one is customization and troubleshooting. Because as you probably know, as you start applying your courses, you're going to come across, well, I tried implementing this, but there was a technical issue. Or uh, I don't know how to apply this idea to my particular business. So it's really helpful to be able to bounce ideas with some knowledgeable person um, to help you shape the course to your own business, okay? So here's what I recommend. Again, instead of paying $20,000 to a business coach who's supposed to supply all of this for you, which again, bad, I think not a wise budget idea, um, use a, a paid group to keep to help with your troubleshooting and customization. Now, sometimes you can get some of that in a paid course, like my paid courses, you know, 150 to 200 dollars. You can't expect a whole lot from me because, you know, I mean, for 150, 200 dollars, you know, again, affiliates are taking part of it. 
and then I'm left with you know a hundred bucks or whatever. And you can't expect me to <laughs> to be answering your questions, a lot of your questions, maybe like one or two, right? But I, I try to answer quick questions in my courses, but um, and I have my Q and A calls once a month that you can come and ask me. But uh, an ongoing group, uh, you can join my group if you want to, but there are many other groups you can you can join that help you to customize and troubleshoot when you're trying to apply an idea. So groups can be 50 bucks a month, $100 a month, $200 a month, but whatever whatever you're paying, it's way cheaper than paying a single person. Like what, what's gonna give you better advice? One single person or a group of 50 people? A group of 50 people have lots of smart people and they'll give you a variety of opinions that will then you can decide which is a good practice for you to self-determine among these opinions, I'm going to choose that one and, and go for it. Now, the drawback again is if you get multiple opinions, you might be confused, but hopefully the leader of the group or someone wise will say, well, based on what we know about you, this seems to be a better option for you, right? So cus customization and troubleshooting, um, please join some kind of group for that. Uh, if you are interested, my of course, I have a group for that. And in my, my uh, master heart group, I do I do. I have a forum. People ask questions. People like me and other smart people answer. And then I have three Q and A calls for the group, just for the group, every single week. Yeah, that's twelve Q and A opportunities with me every month, just for the group members. You don't have to attend any of them, but those opportunities are available. So yes, tons of customization troubleshooting help in groups like mine and and others. Um, Let's see other other colleagues uh, with with groups. That I recommend Caroline Leon, um, Caroline Leon, Caroline L E O N, Caroline Leon, Tad Hargrave, MarketingForHippies.com, dot uh, com, Mark Silver, HeartOfBusiness dot com, and then there are other call. Sorry, I'm blanking on other groups um, that you can join, but those I, I interact with a lot. So. Sorry if I <laughs> if I missed somebody's group, you can comment below. So just not not only my group, there's many options. Okay, so customization troubleshooting number three, number four, software. Software, it you know again, instead of paying all this money to a business coach, part of that money should go to paying for software. I mean, you, you're it's it saves you so much time to like for example the most basic thing, booking software, right? Like like booking appointments instead of you going back and forth with clients, just have a calendar that they can choose. It's easier for the client too. Things like that, um, mailing list software, uh, course delivery software, um, affiliate program software, CRM, you know, a way to track your clients' progress and keep track of the notes for them, things like that. Um, you might know that the software I recommend that I use and I love and therefore recommend is Simplero. Um, I'll put a link below this if you want to use my affiliate link to get Simplero. It doesn't matter. But um, Simplero is awesome. It, it does all, all of what I've described, except for the booking. Sorry. The, the booking, I use Acuity Scheduling. Calendly is just as good. There's many other good booking software. But besides booking, my mailing list, course delivery, client tracking, affiliate, website, all of it is done on Simplero. And I love it. Anyway, software is important. And then number five, outsourcing. Because once you start learning business, you're going to realize, oh, there are certain aspects that are more technical than my skills. I should hire some of it out. Um, you know, there are graphic design needs. There are just things I want to save time, some kind of data processing. I'm going to save time. Someone can do it for me for cheap. Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R, I go there all the time to get outsourced freelancers. So anyway... <laughs> So basically, instead of spend and and all of that, by the way, I should mention accountability, course course knowledge, customization, troubleshooting, software outsourcing, all of that can take just less than ten thousand a year. Less than ten thousand a year. I mean, if you want to join my group, that's two thousand dollars a year. Um, I'll just let me add up the numbers for you, okay? If you want to join my group, which has all the courses that you probably in my opinion, all the courses you need and all the customization and troubleshooting and accountability that you need. So you already got three of those five for $2,000 a year, right? And then you've got software outsourcing, uh, so, I'm sorry, software, which I pay Simplero approximately $2,000 a year, but I have a big, I have a relatively big solopreneur business. For you, Simplero will probably cost you less than a thousand a year. 
So let's say $1,000 a year for software, right? Simplero plus some booking software. So that's total of 3,000 a year plus outsourcing. Um, you know, outsourcing, I spend, I only spend for like technical stuff and freelancers, I spend less than 500 a month and my business is probably bigger than yours. You probably only need to spend 100, 200 a month for outsourcing. So I'm just going to say $2,000 a year. So basically two, two, one. So that's 5,000 a year, $5,000 a year for your business costs. And that's instead of spending 20,000 a year on a business coach, you spend 5,000 a year on, on everything. And you get way better, in my opinion, way better advice and actual support to implement. So I hope this gives you a sense of what not to spend money on, what to spend money on, perhaps, and always open to your your own opinions and advice as, as well for others who are watching this comment below. Uh, any, any quick questions, I'll try to answer it. So thank you so much. I hope this is helpful.